Love and Called. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. None of us get to choose our battles. They're already chosen for us. What we do get to do is we get to choose what we believe and we get to choose what to stand on, to stand on what we know. Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33, In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So we already know from that scripture that things are going to happen to us while we are here on earth. We are to take heart, we are to be encouraged at the fact and the truth of what we know that Jesus has overcome the world. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 5, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So those are two things that we can actually choose to stand on and to know and to take uh, encouragement from. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 does not say that all things will be good, nor does it say that all things will feel good. It says, in all things, God works for the good, which means that things will happen that are not good to us, that are not good for us. Uh, sometimes God will allow things to happen, but regardless of what he allows to happen, in the end, he will work things out for our good. That's what it's saying. So no matter what your dire situation is, whatever situation that you may be going through that you don't want to go through, whatever battle you may be facing, just know that if you love God and if you have been called according to his purpose, whatever situation you're going through, he will work it out for good. So it means that good will come in the end of that situation. The thing I want to point out with that scripture is it's not according to our purpose that we're called. It's according to his. My encouraging scripture is going to be in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. And although I need to read this scripture, this is definitely one of the scriptures that have been added to my arsenal of putting it in my phone and making reminders for myself on a daily basis to say them out loud because this is one of the things that I want to be able to stand on not only in my memory but also in my heart. So 1st Corinth excuse me 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 10 it says and the God of all grace <coughs> excuse me who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast.